Hey, what's up everyone? How you doing? It's me, Mr. 4 Chaos Killer. On this video, I like to talk about uh, this one occurring common question that people ask me all the time when it comes to televisions, projectors, monitors, any panel you can think of, uh, including projectors. Calibration. What do I think about calibration? Am I open for discussion on calibration? Uh, what are my views and thoughts on it? Well, for those of you who've been following me, you know exactly how I feel about the professional calibration and professional calibrators, and you know my consensus on that. You know how I feel about that. But I'm going to give you my honest experience that I had when it comes to picture settings, utilizing custom picture settings versus utilizing a professional calibrating tools by Kelman that's the one that's the, the Kelman is the one that's the most famous one there's others there's the discs there's Disney discs there's others out there that have a discs for calibration so let's talk about first the uh, the calibrating CDs and calibrating equipment uh, first and foremost you need to understand a couple of things when it comes to calibration when it comes to CDs they're already programmed and set up with instructions on how to adjust your television settings you have to remember that these settings are programmed by a certain standard certain standards like a movie standard that they all have agreed on should look the way it should look with this standard just as it goes for the gaming this is what they suggest for the gaming standard this is what they suggest for a quote-unquote universal I use quote in the air universal calibrating standards these are all uh, already preset pre-loaded uh, preset pre-programmed -pre preloaded already preset uh, tutorials that will show you what you need to do to adjust for that content the best possible ways now you have th those are the discs those are the discs that you can buy and they're gonna walk you through it that's the one option now the second option which is the most expensive option is buying the equipment Buying the uh, calibrating tools for you, adjusting your color, adjusting your white balance, adjusting your uh, contrast ratio, you're adjusting your digital black levels, adjusting your white digital levels, uh, your sharp outline sharpening digital levels. There's all of these equipments that you can purchase, you can buy, or you can measure your color gamut, like this one behind me. This is the pre calibrating tool workflow where you can see how much of that color gamut your TV supports and how much you should adjust for certain content. This can take hours and hours and hours. You can spend the entire day just calibrating for, for the movie mode, right? And then when you finish calibrating for that movie mode, you may not be necessarily happy with the end result. And I think this is the important part that I want you guys to listen to when it comes to this whole thing and, and, and the reason why I'm mentioning all of this. I have tried calibrating tools by Kelman, by others. I have tried using a variety of different tools since VHS days. Okay, I've been trying to use different types of uh, programs that allow you to calibrate your old television uh, since 1980. Like my, my old RCA, I used to have an RCA disc back in 1998 for my RCA Radio Shack TV where there would be tools for me to adjust for the movie mode, for the, uh, the sports, and everyday viewing. And it would come in with this uh, tape, this program tape. You put it in there and then you would adjust accordingly. So, here's the thing. 
so I'm just the reason I'm mentioning this because that's how far I go. I go from old CRT. I go I go way back when it comes to televisions, and I've been slowly adjusting to you know the plasmas, the flat panels, the widescreen panels, uh, LCDs versus plasma, and etc. 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 All the way till today. So it's not my first rodeo when it comes to. Uh, you, using the calibration and adjusting the calibrations uh, uh, with variety of different equipments all right I have actually went to uh, the video productions video production school back in 98 and uh, back then we were using different set of tools they're not the same tools that they have today the tools have advanced with technology more and more and they have to keep up with this new technology of the panels but back in my days we use the same principle, and the same principle was that we were using a set of standards, programmed standards, uh, tools that already have preset their own standards. Meaning, uh, for example, if you want to adjust a color gamut, right, on your television, there's tools that that will be already implemented into your laptop and your laptop will have this device this uh, sensor that would uh, collect the data from your color gamut how much of color gamut does your TV support and how much of peak brightness does your TV have and based on that you can adjust that color gamut you can adjust that color and the white balance but that color gamut that color and that white balance will be adjusted based on what the program standard is. So, for example, this, uh, this tool workflow that you see behind me, you see uh, the DE chroma average and the hue average and all these different colors and magenta, they all have to be balanced based on what this program workflow is letting you know. But this doesn't mean necessarily that if you use this workflow, that if you use this tool, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be happy with that color adjustment or with that tone of color. What they're basically doing here, they're adjusting the tone of color based on whatever, the movie, maybe they're calibrating for the movie, maybe they're calibrating for the uh, everyday viewing. It depends on the content but these presets uh, these program tools will tell you exactly where you should be at, at what level but that doesn't necessarily means that if you adjust and you spend three hours four hours adjusting your white balance and adjusting your color tone of color it doesn't mean that you're gonna have the satisfying results for you for your eyes versus what the program is telling you okay so what I'm trying to say, in short, without confusing everyone, is that I'm not against calibrating, professional calibration, using these tools, but I feel, in my own experience, that, first of all, you're going to save more money by not buying all this expensive equipment, okay? You're going to save money by not wasting your money and time spending hours and hours following through the uh, necessary steps for you to adjust certain color tone to adjust certain contrast levels and uh, digital levels black levels digital black levels white uh, digital levels etc etc you know it's not gonna necessarily make you satisfied at the end of the day at the end of the day you're gonna spend so much time wasting throughout the throughout the entire day when you could be actually enjoying watching movies you're gonna spend the entire day messing around with this and following the the programmed already standards that will let you know where your white balance should be where your uh, white digital levels should be where your black digital level should be where your color, tone of color should be and then you're gonna say well this is too warm 
Why they're telling me, why is this so damn warm? I don't want my movie to look like a cat piss. You know, so you, you're not necessarily going to be happy with these tools. Because they have preset standards. All right, let me try to explain to you in, in this basic terms. Because I know you guys are going to get lost with all this technical jogger. Okay, think of it like this way. How about this? I give you a programmed air conditioning unit. And this programmed air conditioning unit only allows a certain temperature. Okay? And that certain temperature that's programmed on that, you know, thermostat on that air condition doesn't meet the requirements of your house. Maybe you got a big studio. Maybe you have a lot of stuff, a, a lot of equipment running. And this temperature still doesn't keep everything cool. So the same principle applies to your TV. This calibrating software doesn't know what content you're watching. Every movie is different. Every movie has a different tone of color. Every movie it's filmed differently, etc., etc., etc. Contents are different. They look different. They are different. This is why we have options to customly adjust our settings. There is no universal settings, okay? It's, it's a bunch of bogus trash that I have ever heard in my entire life. Whenever I hear these professional calibrators talk about universal calibrations, if there was a, such a thing as universal calibrations, well, guess what? Finito. Done. Over. That's it. We can all just uh, rest easy. It's over. All these companies can just go ahead and, and stop manufacturing the options for us to adjust our settings. That's it. Every TV from now on, every monitor from now on will be presetted with its own universal calibrating settings that you cannot touch them. These are the universal settings and that's it. It's over. No such thing exists. This is why you have the option to adjust your television and your monitors and your projectors. Because I don't know. The program doesn't know what kind of, what type of content you're watching. Now these presets, they're based on the standards. But who made these standards? Some, some individuals 10 years ago, 20 years ago, they made these standards and need to follow up to these standards. And who, who is this person that made these standards? And then you have to pay 600, 700, 800, 900, close to $1,000. Some guy sitting on your couch, on your sofa, in the living room, staring at your wife titties and your wife ass, and drinking your beer while he's calibrating and collecting the $1,500. Not to mention all the free drinks and food that he ate at your place while you were barbecuing. And he's going to gladly collect the $1,500, put it in his big, fat, hairy belly. While you, a regular Joe, a regular Mary, have no clue or idea how this works. So when you ask me about professional calibrations, I'm not a huge fan. I'll tell you just right out front, I don't like them. I don't like the professional calibrators. I think they're scam. They're scamming people because it's impossible to bring this universal professional calibrating for, for professional viewing. It does not exist. If it did exist, well, guess what? It would be it. That's it. Checkmate. It's over. We don't need custom options to regulate our color, our tone of color, our sharpness, our contrast, our digital black-white levels. We don't need to do that anymore because there's this new thing called universal holy 
professional calibrating that's out there. Quote, unquote, marks in the freaking air. I don't like professional calibrators. I made a bunch of them. They're full of shit. Okay? They're just out there to make money, to rip people off. Okay? And they, they like to hold that title up close to their chest. I'm a professional calibrator. Rah, 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 rah. Screw you and your professional calibrations, okay? They're, they're the biggest scammers. They're as, as, as bad as individuals who are try, trying to sell you health insurance or individuals who are trying to sell you credit or individuals who are trying to sell you a car. They're the car salesmen. They're in the same boat, okay? I understand how calibrating process works, but I disagree with it. I disagree with it because the standards that they have already preset it with these equipments. It's not necessarily going to make me satisfied with the results that they're going to implement. If you want to spend thousands of dollars on this equipment, and it's very expensive, if you want to do that, be my guest. It's your money. Do what you want to do. But just remember this. Remember this, you are not going to be necessarily happy with the end results. And you're going to say to yourself, well, I just spent thousands of dollars. I just spent all this money, and I'm still not happy with the results. Why that is? Because it's impossible for these standards, which they are old, old standards. They're already preset and pre-programmed inside that uh, you know software and the equipment to measure your peak brightness, to measure your digital white and black levels, to measure your spectrum of colors. It's impossible for this program, software tool, to know exactly what type of content you're watching. Maybe you're watching porn. Maybe you're watching porn. Maybe you're watching just sports. Maybe you're watching... Uh, different type of TV shows, different types of movies, and every movie and TV show looks different. And you're not going to be necessarily satisfied with the end results of this. Because no universal, there's no such thing as universal calibration. It does not exist. If it did exist, well, guess what? These uh, TV manufacturers would not implement the option for you to adjust it yourself. Yes, they have these already preset uh, presets out there. Standard, movie, dynamic, natural. They have all of these presets. But how many of you are using those presets? Are you satisfied with the dynamic preset that comes in with your TV? You're not. And who made that standard? Quote, unquote. Are you satisfied with a movie mode that comes in preset on your preset maybe for some movies here and there but not for all of your movies you're not you're not using it that much you're adjusting it yourself are you satisfied with the game mode that comes in with its default preset no I see people adjusting it all the time so what I'm trying to say is I use my own eyes to adjust the content to adjust the movies and whatever it is that I'm watching, I'm using my own two eyes versus spending money on the equipment that it's not necessarily going to satisfy me. Okay? Oh, just give me one second, right back.
All right, sorry about that, guys. Um, all right, so I'm going to end this video uh, pretty soon because while I was making this video, I just received my uh, AMD Radeon. You might have heard me talking to a UPS guy, I don't know. But I just received my AMD Radeon 5700 uh, 50th anniversary graphics card, so I'm going to be working on that. But I felt like I, I should make this video and explain this to you guys on how I feel about professional calibrating versus my own two eyes okay and I'm against it guys I really am I really don't recommend professional calibrating tools guys if it did work I, I would be the first guy to use it why wouldn't I use it why make it harder for me but guys I tried it I used it I'm 40 years old, man. I tried all these different things. Everything you mentioned to me, I have tried it. Believe me, I have done it. And this is why I'm not satisfied. Because it does not work. Because every content is different. Every movie is different. Hell, even your sports, it's different. Because you got different venues, different arenas. Everything's different, man. So my point here is that I really don't necessarily recommend you guys to, uh, to use this, okay? And I know this video is kind of getting half-assed, and I should have edited some of the stuff here, but I just didn't feel like editing anything. I just want you guys to hear it from me, front and center, in the best, honest possible way, okay? Guys... If you want to use professional calibrating tools, bless you, good for you, use it. But just remember, it's not going to necessarily make you happy or satisfied. Because I've been there, I use all these equipments. It did not make me satisfied. I was like, well, why am I using this? Why am I using this software? Why am I measuring this? Uh, this this tone of color, this white balance, this tone of color. I spent two hours just going by its standards and, and putting it in with all this chroma and, 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 and sub subsampling it with all these different colors, tone of colors, and still I didn't get the results that I needed. I didn't get the results that I needed. I wasn't happy. Everything looked too yellow, too dimmed, too bleak. And I was like, well, where's the color? I want that color to pop a little bit on this movie. I don't see it. Why? Because the tool is telling me, no, you're oversaturating too much. Okay, so this is how I feel. This is my personal experience, my personal opinion. Uh, I'll just say it up front. I don't like professional calibrators. I'm not a fan of professional calibrating. I think it's a scheme. They're just out to make money. They don't really care about if you're going to enjoy your TV or not. They're not there to help you. Just They're just there to, to take your money. That's it. They're just there to take your money. Number three, is, I mean number two is I prefer to use my own two eyes to adjust the settings. Okay? I prefer to use my own two eyes. I'm not a fan of using somebody else's standards that's what it is some a-hole decided to say these are the standards this is how much color gamut this is how much your color should be adjusted for this content this is how much of contrast you should use this is how much of brightness you should use this is how your movie content should look like a cat piss yellow Guys, 
if you want to f buy, so if you want to, I'm just say this one thing. If you want to spend money on this, buying all this equipment, wasting your money on this, be my guest. Do it. But I'm just telling you, it's not going to necessarily make you happy. So do what you like, but I'm against it. I don't like it because it does not work. Let me end this video by saying it does not work. It didn't work for me. And I know a hell of a lot more people out there who tell me the same thing. All this professional calibrating equipment did not help me diddly shit. I'm still not satisfied. Okay? So I feel the same way. This is why I use my own two eyes to adjust these settings myself. And the end result's been much better. I've been getting a lot of people messaging me, telling me, hey, man, I love your settings. Your settings help me out. You know, I didn't have to spend money buying the professional equipment. I like those settings. The picture looks great on this movie. I tried this. I, I, I watched Man of Steel. I watched this movie. <clears throat> I watched The Gladiator. It looks much better. I played this game uh, preset mode you gave me. It looks much better. Red Dead Redemption 2 looks much better now on my TV. I have people tell me that. They would contact me via Facebook, via Twitter, uh, you name it. They would tell me that. All right? Why? Because they realize that your best calibrator is your own two eyes. Because your own two eyes know exactly what you're seeing. Versus what the, the, the programmed software with the equipment that has a certain standard program into it will tell you this is what you need to adjust. And this is why I'm against the whole calibrating thing. Quote, unquote, professional calibrator. And I know these professional calibrators will hit a dislike on this video. Okay? Because they don't like it. They don't like someone to tell them, hey, it's a whole bunch of baloney. Well, too bad. It's a free country. I'm independent. And yes, I can tell you, it's a baloney. It's my opinion. It is a baloney. And you can tell me I'm a baloney too, but I don't care. I stand by my beliefs okay all right guys have a good one though i'll catch you later with the uh the unboxing of 5700 xt 50th anniversary uh edition graphics card and uh, take this video for what it is you want my honest opinion well you got it there you have it have a good one though take care